Three years ago today, on July 28, 2017, Tesla delivered the first Model 3 vehicles to customers. Hey everybody, Rob Maurer here, and today, because of this three-year anniversary, I thought we would change it up a little bit and take a look back at the vehicle that has been so revolutionary in the automotive industry. Of course, the story for Tesla as a company dates back to the early 2000s, but the Model 3 really came to life in a 2006 blog post from CEO Elon Musk when he shared Tesla Motors' secret master plan online for the entire world to see. As Musk writes, so in short, the master plan is build sports car, use that money to build an affordable car, use that money to build an even more affordable car, while doing above, also provide zero emission electric power generation options. In 2008, Tesla delivered the first Tesla Roadster, check part one. In 2012, Tesla delivered the first Tesla Model S, check part two. In 2016, Tesla acquired Solar City, and despite being controversial at the time, we can check the box on electric power generation options. And then, finally in 2017, Tesla delivers the first Tesla Model 3, the even more affordable car, check, part 3. Three years ago today marked the culmination of Tesla's decade-long master plan when they handed over those first Project Blue Star vehicles, now better known as the Tesla Model 3, to customers. The goal for Blue Star has been clear from the start, drive volume. In an interview in 2008 with CNET, co-founder and longtime chief technology officer J.B. Straubel said, quote, with Blue Star, we're looking at cost and lowering the overall expense to the user. If it's not cost competitive with oil, you are going to have a hard time scaling to a high level, end quote. While scaling to a high level has certainly not been without its challenges for Tesla, famously going through production hell, as Elon Musk would put it, the Model 3 has cemented its revolutionary status by quickly becoming the best-selling electric vehicle in history, despite five to 10-year head starts from the runners-up. But it's not just other electric vehicles like Nissan's Leaf or Tesla's own Model S that the Model 3 has overthrown. In the United States, the Model 3 has outsold former stars of the premium sedan segment, the internal combustion engine-powered Mercedes C-Class, BMW 3 Series, Audi A4 and S4, Lexus IS, and Jaguar XE. And not only has the Model 3 outsold those cars individually, it's outsold them all combined. As the Model 3 has swallowed up that market share, other brands have struggled to find a footing and have faced a bit of turmoil. With today's coincidental announcement that Jaguar Land Rover will be replacing their longtime CEO, Dr. Rolf Spaeth, with the former CEO of Renault Group, that means that all five of those automakers have replaced their CEO since the Model 3's arrival in mid-2017. With executive turnover at the top, declining market share, and increasing pressure on margins, it becomes very difficult for these companies to invest for the long term, heightening the risk that they fall even further behind Tesla. Meanwhile, under the guidance of Elon Musk's somehow simultaneously steady yet incredibly volatile hand, Tesla has delivered roughly 600,000 Model 3 vehicles and will likely surpass 1 million Model 3 deliveries sometime next year. At the initial Model 3 delivery event, Elon Musk described the Model 3 by saying, you will not be able to find a better car, gasoline or electric, in that price range that is anywhere near as great. Based on the market share Tesla has captured, a large portion of that market agrees and the Model 3 has also pulled new customers into the premium sedan segment as well. In 2018, Tesla reported the most common trade-ins they have received for the Model 3. They were the Honda Accord, the Honda Civic, Toyota Prius, Nissan Leaf, and BMW 3 Series. This was even before the release of the Standard Range or Standard Range Plus Model 3s, meaning the opening price point for the Model 3 at that time was in the mid 40,000s. The broad set of customers that Tesla has attracted have not been disappointed. In 2019, the Model 3 ranked as the car with the highest owner satisfaction in the world, according to Consumer Reports, and around the same time, an exhaustive Bloomberg study of more than 5,000 Model 3 owners found that 99% of owners would recommend the Tesla Model 3 to a friend. One Bloomberg survey respondent captured the revolutionary nature of the Model 3 incredibly well by simply stating, it has forever changed my expectations for what a car should be. Other respondents agreed, with 93% saying they would never again buy another gasoline-powered vehicle. Critical accolades have not been a problem for the Model 3 either. There's a long list there, but most recently, the Model 3 was crowned as the 2020 UK Car of the Year, as selected by a panel of 29 judges. One panelist noted, no other car shakes up the segment so thoroughly from powertrain to interior innovation. Of course, Tesla's innovation and focus on safety should not be left off that list. While safety has always been a priority and a strength for Tesla, the Model 3 has really over-delivered. In National Highway Traffic and Safety Administration testing, the Model 3 achieved a vehicle safety score, which is NHTSA's measure of relative injury risk, of 0.38, a better score than any other vehicle has achieved, according to NHTSA's public documents. 
The Insurance Institute for Highway Safety, also known as the IIHS, has designated the Model 3 with its top award, the Top Safety Pick Plus, and internationally, the Euro NCAP has highlighted how Tesla's software has also helped improve their safety. They gave Tesla a 94% mark on safety assistance features, the highest rating in that category since the release of the Tesla Model 3. This is emblematic of Tesla's progress in autonomy already proving beneficial to customers when it comes to safety. On a quarterly basis, Tesla publishes a vehicle safety report, and over the last four quarters, Tesla vehicles equipped with those active safety features have been involved in roughly 30% fewer accidents than Tesla vehicles without active safety features. Tesla vehicles actively engaged in autopilot functionality are in far fewer accidents still, but the variables at play, such as opportunistic usage, make it very difficult to take anything away from that particular metric. Overall, the success of the Model 3 program has not been limited to benefiting only vehicle owners. Owners of the company, shareholders, have benefited massively as well. Tesla has seen its stock price increase by 341% since the first Model 3 deliveries, significantly outpacing the returns of the NASDAQ over that period of time, up 63%, and the S&P 500 index, which Tesla may soon be a part of, up 30%, though both those numbers do exclude dividends. The price appreciation in Tesla shares has catapulted Tesla's biggest shareholder, of course, Elon Musk, to a top 10 slot on Bloomberg's Billionaires Index, though much of that net worth is tied up in Tesla stock, which Elon Musk doesn't plan to sell for many, many years. When Tesla was launching the Model 3, it was just a month prior that they had first entered the Fortune 500 list, a list that ranks the top 500 US corporations by revenue. But now, with the success of the Model 3, which generated about $15 billion in revenue for Tesla last year, the company has already risen to 124th in the revenue rankings. Any way you look at it, the first three years of Tesla's Model 3 have been a tremendous success, and Tesla isn't planning on slowing down. Elon Musk recently reiterated Tesla's ambitions to grow at 50% per year for the next decade, implying targets of more than 4 million annual vehicle deliveries in 2025 and more than 20 million deliveries in 2030. While those growth targets may seem ambitious and 20 million plus vehicle deliveries per year would easily make Tesla the largest automaker, Tesla is currently building out capacity at three new factories in Europe, China, and North America to help get there. Tesla's willingness to simultaneously expand on multiple continents demonstrates how laser focused they are on continuing those high growth rates as volume grows. That is the mission that the Model 3 has carried out and all future vehicles will continue to extend accelerating the advent of sustainable transportation. The Model Y is now ready for the next leg of the journey, and the Tesla Cybertruck, Semi, and Roadster are waiting in the wings. With the Model 3's emphatic completion of Tesla's original master plan, the focus now shifts to completion of Tesla's master plan, part two. Just as the original did, the second master plan maps out four points. Create stunning solar roofs with seamlessly integrated battery storage, expand the electric vehicle product line to address all major segments, develop a self-driving capability that is 10x safer than manual via massive fleet learning, and enable your car to make money for you when you aren't using it. Tesla's second master plan goes hand in hand with the increasing scale of Tesla as a company. The operating leverage that Tesla gains will allow them to lower costs on solar and energy storage. Automotive production growth necessitates expansion into new categories, and perhaps most importantly, a half a million vehicles per year or a million vehicles per year all getting shipped out of Tesla's factories with the hardware equipped to collect data and train Tesla's neural nets for full self-driving. As Tesla's fleet continues to grow exponentially, their data collection ability does as well, which will ideally eventually enable a robo-taxi situation, but if not, at least along the way, will provide a lot of additional value to customers through the form of driver assistance and safety features. Just as the Model 3 was built off the success of the Model S, the Model X, and the original Roadster, Tesla's next decade will stand on the even taller shoulders of the success of the Model 3. This again brings to mind Elon Musk's comment on Tesla's second quarter earnings call last week, quote, I've never been more optimistic, more excited about the future of Tesla in the history of the company, end quote. There is certainly a lot to be excited about. All right, that is going to wrap it up for this episode. I know the approach here was a little bit different, so please let me know in the comments what you think. We will return to sort of the normal format tomorrow. I know this causes us to miss a little bit of news like the 10Q dropping, but hopefully nothing too urgent and stuff that we can all catch up on tomorrow. 
This whole episode is also available in written format on thestreet.com slash Tesla, but I'll put a link to that in the show notes. I'm hoping this one can be a bit more shareable, whether that's the video or the article, to people that may not be quite as familiar with the history of Tesla's Model 3. So happy three-year anniversary to the launch of the Model 3. As always, thank you all for listening. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow for the Wednesday, July 29th episode of Tesla Daily. Thank you.